The Apache Software Foundation is a member-based organization, yep. and there's sometimes some confusion as to what that means. We recently elected <laughs> Sorry. several... <laughs> Sorry, go on, go on. <clears throat> we recently elected a bunch of new members, and when they came in, there were some questions as to what their responsibilities were at the foundation. Yep. Uh, how long have you been a member? Uh, since 2002, I think. Just a little bit longer than you have. Yeah, I was elected in 2003. Yeah. And, uh... It's 2018 now, by the way. <laughs> and I was actually present for the members meeting in which I was elected. Because oh, I back in those days, we, we did members meetings in person sometimes. So that was kind of cool. That yes. was in Las Vegas at ApacheCon. So, what what's your take on the responsibilities of being an Apache member. Responsibilities of being an Apache member. Well, let's just start with very minimalist level of responsibility. The, in my perspective, if you're a member, in one way, it's like being a shareholder of a corporation. So the shares aren't, aren't worth anything. But, <laughs> well, <laughs> they aren't. Uh, financially, we, they're not like a share in a publicly traded corporation. But they do mean that you get to vote for the board. Uh, much like in a public corporation, if you own stock, they send you this big form every year and they ask you, you know, please vote for these directors, whatever. At Apache, that's uh, really your responsibility, is to vote for the board, and if the board puts forth any membership-wide ballot, like we wanted to change something about Apache fundamentally, then that would be something the members would have a say in and would have a vote on. Um, obviously, we, we need to keep confidential information confidential, so... We do have access to all the all of our projects, you know, sort of private lives, so to speak, as well as financial data about, you know, how the internals of the op of the foundation operates. So we need to make sure we keep those confidential and, and within the corporation, like any other corporation, really. Um, other members also select other members. Members yes. are responsible for <clears throat> nominating and then voting on new mm -hmm. members for the foundation, and that happens. Uh, it, it has to happen at least once a year. We have to have a members meeting. Yep. In, in past years, it has happened more than once a year, but we haven't done that for a long time. It's, as we grow, it's harder to get enough people together since um, a members meeting, in some ways, we sort of feel like it's a group of friends to getting together or you know, a, a really coherent open source group getting together to make decisions, which it is. On the other hand, our members annual members meeting uh, which must be held at least every 13 months by Delaware law, because that is our official shareholders meeting for the corporation. So, you know, we don't usually think about it, but the, the legal reasons behind this are part of how the ASF stays a healthy corporation in Delaware, not that we're there, uh, and keeps our 501c3 charity status with the IRS in the U.S., which is, of course, very important to us. As Shane mentioned, members also have access to several internal mailing lists mm -hmm. that uh, the general public does not have access to, and that includes the members mailing list and the board mailing list. And these two lists are where much of the business of the foundation is conducted. <clears throat> the board discusses issues on the board list. The membership all has a say on whatever thing, <coughs> whatever issues come up on the more members list or the board list. Yeah, so I, let's go back for a second. You said the, the, the operations of the foundation or the business of the foundation happen on these lists. So that's a little bit confusing if you're not involved. So when you think of the, the operations of Apache, you're probably thinking of the projects you work on or the projects you use. What's their roadmap? You know, when are they going to release? Have they fixed your bug? That has nothing to do with what we're, what we're talking about here. So Apache is several things. It's many, many projects probably more than you've realized, there are 200 out there, um, and is the legal corporation behind the scenes. So this, the business of the corporation, making sure that we pay our bills, making sure that we, our infrastructure staffers, you know, have, have a boss who's also an Apache member. Uh, they get paid. They make sure the servers that we have all around the world are running, that our, you know, marketing publicity officer works with the press, which have questions on every day. Um, things like that are what the operations of the foundation are. It's, it's the support mechanism 
that allow us to provide a home for all of our projects. So that's the kind of things we're talking about. So what was the what was the end of the question there? I've forgotten already. <clears throat> well, it was both of those things, the rights and the responsibilities of members, and I think that we've covered both of those. There is one final confusion that comes up quite often. Only and one? This is the distinction between being a committer and being a member. Now, we've had members pretty much every year when we elect members. One of the nominees says, well, I've been a member for some time. I'm a committer on such mm -hmm. and such a project. The foundation has several tiers of participation from yeah. the users of the software. The next level up is committers, and this is where you actually have the right to change lines of code or documentation within the software itself. Now, well, I'll stop you there. I think there's another level that's important to talk about, which is we have users of our software who go and download it. Some of them don't even care about it. They're like, oh, great, it works. Okay, thanks, whatever. Um, some of them either want to get involved or have maybe have a bug or their, the documentation is not clear, who take the next step to become a contributor, right? So there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people who have come and submitted useful bugs, maybe with a patch, or have said, you know, hey, here's how you could fix your documentation or translate the documentation. So they've contributed work, which hopefully our projects have then said, hey, that's great, or we'll take it if we can fix this. Um, but they don't necessarily have a say in the project, other than the fact they, they can contribute work, which we'll, we'll take. So a contributor is then the next step to a committer, which is, as Rich was saying, uh, the project will formally internally vote to say, yes, this person's been a great contributor. We want them to be a committer to have a say, to have a vote in what this project does technically. And often when people are elected as a committer to a project, they make the mental connection to an Apache member. Um, in a conversation last night, somebody <coughs> observed that a, a member is somebody who has taken the next step to contribute to the foundation as a whole. And the membership recognizes that person as mm -hmm. being part of the foundation uh, at a higher level than being just a member of an individual project. Yeah, I think there's there's two parts to that. One is, is some this committer who has been elected to drive the tr direction of this project and has put in code or documentation or, you know, FAQs on the user list. Uh, have they also worked with other Apache projects? So we have almost 200, 200 projects, many of them very large projects that are used everywhere. Um, so this is somebody who's in, interested in the rest of Apache. <coughs> Excuse me interested in um, our open source presence as a whole, or are they simply trying to get some, something done with that project? And that's part of what Apache is about, is we support all of our projects. So I hope okay. we've uh, given more clarity than confusion there. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. And we'll be having more conversations like yeah. this with various board members over the coming months, describing various aspects of how the Apache Software Foundation works. Thanks.